Let me take a subset of security, which is risk, and address this question to Shanky. Uh, Shanky, mitigating current risks and preparing for future threats can help build the right foundation for success and growth, even in uncertain times that we are presently seeing. So in your view, how can financial institutions leverage the power of AI for better risk modeling? See, financial institutions, their primary role is managing risk. Hmm. You know, we are not really in the business of storing money and distributing money. We are in the man business of managing risk in the process of storing and distributing money. Storing and distributing is the operational part. I mean, and that's actually not particularly difficult to do. It is the management of risk that banks exist for. And, uh, you know, we have become much better at managing risk using data than we used to be. We used okay. to manage risk earlier using ready-made models of, you know, behavior. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a certain amount of capital or a certain security or a certain payment pattern, we have increasingly become far more adept, especially at the retail side, at gauging risk using data of various kinds. Mm. Transactional data, social data, um, KYC data. And that has been uh, part of the engine of growth for most new digital banks. So how do you give credit cards to somebody who has no credit history? Does it mean that because you don't have a credit history that you're a bad spender? Not really. Mm. It just means that you have no past data. Mm. Especially in a country where there is a lot of financial exclusion, past data is hard to come by. Past banking mm. transaction data. Um, so therefore, we have to rely on other means. Mm. You know, how do we get that? Uh, how do we get to evaluate what is credit worth? Um, or how do we get to evaluate how to improve his credit worth over time. We can start mm. at a low risk with a very low model, uh, a very small amount of uh, spend that he's allowed to do or a small loan that he's allowed to pay or a bank account that he is allowed to open with lots of restriction. But as his transaction behavior improves, how do I keep upgrading him? Mm. And how do I also give him other products that he needs based on what we have learned from his banking behavior or his credit card behavior or his personal loan behavior. Mm. That in India is the crucial part of the game because we are coming into a world in India as banking grows, they're coming into a world where we are addressing people without any particular credit history. Mm. It's been a perennial challenge which has improved considerably with KYC, the current KYC norms where there is an identity available from Aadhaar, there are UPI allows payments through relatively uh, large payment volumes mm. through non-bank entities. I mean, you don't necessarily need to have a bank account to do UPI transactions. And there's a lot of UPI transactions that happen that allow you to get a certain picture of the person's cash flows and a certain uh, picture of what the person is doing, who he's mm. interacting with, all of which aids in managing risk. Mm. 